than it was when I made it. Obama pushes for UN climate rules without Congress. I'm going to say that again. And those climate rules will shut down what's left. Only America and Europe have to do these rules. It will make everything that we've got left move to Europe. I mean, move out of Europe, move out of the U.S., and go south of the border or go to China or India. And it won't even help those people there. Clive well, and Bundy? Yeah, there's a... I mean, that, I, you just can't understand how big this is when you get talking about the United Nations, UN. I mean, you know, this uh, this environmental movement, it's, it's basically Agenda 21, I guess you could say it, where they want to uh, clear out all of the land from the people and and give it back to nature, supposedly, and, and the animals. Well, that's not really what they want. Again, they want, they want to take the vast areas, basically through the Midwest now. They want that cor corridor to go from Canada to Mexico, take out the central part of uh, America, and basically eliminate people and construction, agriculture, everything. I mean, how silly can you be? What what kind of human being would think that way? Why shouldn't we go in there and develop it, increase it, and better it for mankind and multiply and replenish? I mean, isn't that what we're sort of commanded to do? Clive and Bundy is our guest. Harry Reid famously said that anyone out there at the ranch, uh, even peacefully demonstrating for the First Amendment, was a domestic terrorist. We forget that people were roughed up, beaten up, tasered, including your son on video, being nonviolent by paramilitary uh, land grabbers, BLM, people masquerading as federal agents. They're not even that. They're UN agents under UN Treaty and ESCO. And now all this is out in the open uh, that people got mad when they saw that. And, and, and the globalists should know as they push, they're only going to create more opposition. Well, they know that. They want to start a civil war in this country. That's why it's important for the feds and others to be smart enough to not play along with this, but we've got to be uh, smart enough as well. Uh, but what do you make of Harry Reid saying, A, you're a domestic terrorist, basically, and B, that there will be a judgment day, that, that there will be a response, very cryptically. Uh, do you expect the empire of the Chai Coms and Harry Reid uh, and the land grabbers, the locust, do you expect uh, the parasites to strike back? Well, you know, Harry Reid did, uh, didn't even only say was uh, domestic uh, terrorists. He said we were violent domestic terrorists. That's the earmark of this pretty bad. In other words, we'd be somebody that was going to bomb the city or do something. I don't know what a violent domestic terrorist does. But definitely it's worse than just a domestic terrorist. And they didn't, they, uh, Harry didn't just earmark uh, Clive and Bundy. He marked all of those who stood, the thousands that stood with Clive and Bundy as the violent domestic terrorists. And what that really, that earmark uh, of being a, a terrorist puts on us and puts throughout the American thinking, well, okay, now we've got a terrorist in America, I guess we should get rid of him, and we can take and shoot him, we can bomb him, we can incarcerate him, we can do anything we want. I guess we could even cut his head off if that's what needs to be done. He is a, a, a terrorist towards the United States of America. And that's the title that Harry Reid put up on We the People here at Bundy's Ranch. And by the way, we warned everyone when they passed the NDAA, when Obama signed that back in 2011, uh, on the last day of the year at night on New Year's Eve, when he said he wouldn't sign it, turned out his office wrote it, uh, where they could secretly arrest and disappear Americans. Well, look, they can put on paper that they're allowed to barbecue children on the White House lawn. I'm not going along with it. I don't care what their globalist tin badge says. The fact that they've gone so far down the road to tyranny shows that they're completely illegitimate. Congress has a 6% to 7% approval rating. And the police they're trying to put in these armored vehicles are starting to wake up uh, to what's happening. Uh, and, and so the feds are coming saying they're going to save us from the paramilitary police that they set up. I mean, it, I don't see any way the establishment's going to be able to win this, Cliven, unless they stage false flags. Uh, and blame the liberty movement, and I don't think that'll even work as well. I mean, how do you, how does your gut, what does your gut tell you is going to happen in this country? Where do you see this country in 10 years? Well, uh, let me talk just a little bit more about what happened out here. Let's take my son, Dave, that they uh, basically, he was taking pictures of uh, them uh, moving the 
cattle, not even in the area where they're getting it, but would go on to take pictures of the trucks uh, that had the cattle in it. And they uh, 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 ganged up on him and their thugs with their high-powered uh, Army military-type equipment, and they uh, uh, re- crushed his head into the gravel and, and arrested him and hauled him off and uh, took him and put him in their jails and interrogated him. And uh, after two days, they turned him out on the street, just like a just like a thug would probably take uh, somebody that they're going to rape, and they use him up, use her up, or whatever, and then they just turn her out on the street. That's the way they treated my son. And you know, why would a human being or a government act that way? The, the only thing they can be doing is trying to tell we the people that they have unlimited power and authority, and they can do any damn thing they want, and we better not resist or say anything about it. That's the attitude. Cliven Bundy is our guest. Uh, it, it's called being dishonorable, and people think that's tough nowadays to act like a thug. Uh, but we'll be back with Cliven Bundy. Stay with us. This hour brought to you by InfidelBodyArmor.com. When it hits the fan, don't be left without the body armor that will save your life. With prices starting at just three seventy four ninety nine and ships free. Get yours at InfidelBodyArmor.com. Just won't quit. Hi, Ted Anderson with Midas Resources. Is it time to convert paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver yet? Get our 10 Reasons book free. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Clean water at home, clean water at the office, clean water on the go. The Berkey Guy has a Berkey water filtration model for anywhere you are and one that fits any budget. Thousands of satisfied customers can't be wrong. For free shipping within the U.S., go to GoBerkey.com or call 877-886-3653. That's 877-886-3653. Helping thousands prepare since 2005, GoBerkey.com. Another major health threat, this one in Toledo, Ohio, where everybody in the entire city has been told not to drink the water. Ohio's governor declaring a state of emergency. Did you know that the average person uses about 80 to 100 gallons of water at home every single day? If there's a water emergency, will you be prepared? Panicked residents forming long lines throughout the day. We're here at a supermarket in Toledo. You can see the shelves empty where water once was. To stay safe and healthy during a crisis, you must must have access to safe, clean water. Water which will not be available at your local grocery store. There's a mad dash on right now to stock up on supplies. The ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system is a must-have for every modern, independently-minded household. Protect your family's safety during an emergency. Go to InfoWarsStore.com today to purchase your ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system or call 1-888-253-3139. Time and time again. You need to come here and help us. We need assistance. Please. Those we should be able to depend on let us down. Federal and state and local officials saying help is on the way. Well, the folks here in Bell Harbor say show me. Don't depend on the government to save you. Take action now so that you're prepared for the next disaster with MyPatriotSupply.com. Get the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more at MyPatriotSupply.com. Call 866-229-0927. We are hurting down here, and we need help immediately. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotSupply.com. MyPatriotSupply.com. Don't worry. This show is documented. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. I fell into a burning ring of fire. I went down, 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 and the flames went higher. And it burns, burns, burns the ring of fire. And it burns, 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 the ring of fire, the ring of fire. We're back live. Clive and Bundy is our guest. I'm your host, Alex Jones. We'll go right to your calls when we start the next hour. Matthew, Michael, Jeremy, Matt, uh, just everybody that's patiently holding, we'll go right to you. But we do have that clip, in case you're a new listener and, and doubt us, 
of Senator Harry Reid a few months ago saying the people out there at the Bundy Ranch, most of them demonstrating for the First Amendment, because the, the feds were saying basically in half the county, you couldn't even stand on the sidewalk with a sign. They would come up and assault you, uh, that, that that was terrorism. And they got video of one guy aiming his AR-15 down over the overpass towards the feds, which I think was stupid and very provocative. Uh, and then they imply everyone's a terrorist because of that. What about the police aiming their 223s at my reporters in broad daylight, who they even knew by name day after day in Ferguson? Is that terrorism? Let's go to that clip of Harry Reid. Here it is. So these people who hold themselves out to be patriots are not. They're nothing more than domestic terrorists. And I think that we are a country that people should follow the law. And what went up in Mesquite is not very good. I repeat, what went on up there is domestic tourism. Okay, domestic terrorism, not tourism. That was the Las Vegas Review Journal video. So there you go. All of this is for the American people, and that's admitted. And so they claim that the rendition, the torture, the NDAA, the checkpoints, the NSA was all for Al-Qaeda, which is now known as IS and our government gave weapons to and is now fighting again. Because it's not our government. It's criminal special interest at every level who are robbing the country seven ways to Sunday. There are secret death panels for veterans where they have operable cancers with 95% success rates and they just don't give them the surgery and they die and then the whore media spins that when the alternative media breaks it it's going on nationwide as mistakes were made no the government and criminal interest have gotten away with bloody murder and somebody finally stood up to them and the controlled media acted like we were devils for daring to know the law and what had happened out there Final comments, Clive and Bunny, in the two minutes we've got left, sir. Well, you know, the question is, who is the criminals here? Was it the federal bureaucracy that pointed the guns to we the people? Or was it we the people who standing up for our liberty and freedoms and our agency, our constitution, our state sovereignty? Was we wrong or were they wrong? Where in, the, in this constitution, where in this government does it allow an army to come against we the people? And why would a, a senator, I say, you brought your army here, but how, would, how could you justify bringing a, a, a militia, not a militia, a military army against we the people? And you know, I made the statement, this will never happen in America again, and yet we see it sort of repeating itself across the country. I don't know when we're going to stop it. We're going to have to stand up for uh, uh, our state sovereignty. Our local sheriff's got to wake up, and uh, and we the people, we hey, it's our fault. We have allowed this to happen. We got to stop it now. Well, don't forget, Judge Head in Lubbock two years ago said they needed armored vehicles to fight a UN takeover. I'm not even so much against the locals if they're patriots having things to defend the population from drug cartels or whatever. I'm against federal armaments against the people. That's unconstitutional. Here it is out of the desert news. Representative Stewart seeking to demilitarize federal regulatory agencies. The congressman from Utah says he wants to demilitarize the feds. That's more like it. And that's what's coming out of this from Chris Stewart, Republican Utah. Clive and Bundy, thank Thank you so much. We salute you for defending liberty. This God bless you. ECN, the and Genesis you Communications Radio Let's Network. For That's right. Great job. In the near future. When you realize how fake it all is, the football, the basketball. Security alert. Security alert. This is Homeland Security. Analysis. Infowars building independent media operations. You've got the worst people get controlled and tell us that we are the ones responsible. Prime Directive discredit Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist. A popular conspiracy theory talk show called Infowars. Alex Jones is now in an Austin jail. These people are assaulted. Targeting of patriots engaged. They are never going to stop. They're never going to deviate from their program until we stop them. Block free iPhone app at infowars.com. Block free podcast and video feed. Imperative destroy Prison Planet TV. You gotta set your eye on the enemy, not worry about what propaganda they put out. Intellectually, it's begun. You can feel it.